up guys and welcome back to LSJ TV. Now, that first little entrance clip, I weighed myself for the first time in around about a month. And essentially, what I was expecting wasn't great. I kind of look in the mirror now and I think, yeah, there's a little bit less definition there. Like I look in my shoulders and think, yeah, there's a few less striations. And so I thought, considering that I've been bulking for around about two months now, I can expect to have put on at least two or three pounds of muscle. Generally speaking, for the amount of time that I've been training, that is a reasonable amount of muscle to expect to put on with the amount and the intensity that I train at, right? So, starting off at 174 at the end of the cut, I'm now at 178.6. Now, two months down the line, and 0.5 pounds a week, that's around about right. I'll go into a little bit more detail in terms of what I want to do weight-wise later in the video. For now though, I have this leftover chili and rice from last night. Now you guys, if you've been subscribed to the channel for a while and you've seen the previous video, you know the acronym that I like to use, TREAD. T, I use it basically, long story short, I use it when I go on a night out and there's five principles which help me stay on track with my goals when I go on a night out and have a social life. So T stands for train, make sure that you train on the day. R stands for reduce, so reduce your calories ever so slightly throughout the day that you were going to go out as well. Preferably from carbs and fats, keep the protein intake high. E stands for eat, so eat something good that's gonna satisfy you before and cook something left over that you can eat when you get back. Hence, this meal right now. The A stands for appreciate and the D stands for damage control, drinking all that water, just reducing the effects the next day. So, those principles, follow those principles and I swear to God, it will make a difference to your gains, it will make a difference to your life and it will make a difference to how you feel on a night out as well. So, I'm gonna enjoy this meal. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. I hope you're ready for Operation Blow Up Balloons. <laughs> Operation Blow Up Bo Balloons in three minutes is a go. I just said blow up balloons. Can you add more surprise, please? Oh, God. Well, that was one of the most stressful things I've ever done in my entire life. And it took up my entire day because of when Charlotte was in and Charlotte was out and I had to blow up the balloon. It, it, it took a long time. And actually, what I'm going to do later on in the video is tell you guys exactly what I've done for her present. It's pretty... Um, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty happy with myself, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a good present, I've put a lot of thought into it. What I'm going to do now is head to the gym real quick. I have literally about an hour, but I'm just going to take some pre-workout. The only bad workout is the one that didn't happen, so let's go. So as you can see, we have made it to Birmingham. It's actually been Charlotte's birthday, which is the topic of today's video. I will get to the present in just a little bit. But what I wanted to address real quick was 
the thing that at the start of the video, and that was my weigh-in. So I was 178.6, right? I started off the bulk at 174.6, so exactly four pounds heavier. Perfect. The goals for this bulk is to put on 0.5 pounds every single week, and the reason for that is purely because I I, I don't want to get fat. I got in, at the end of first year, I got really fucking fat right i'll openly say it i let the bulk go to I, I let the bulk i called it a bulk i was just doing what i wanted i wasn't going to the gym enough and i was eating too much and drinking too much and absolutely everything was just going in the wrong direction and i just got fat this but this is a learning experience i know exactly what i'm doing now and that is showcase from the bulk so far four pounds in eight weeks so 0.5 pounds every single week has correlated to a nice steady lean Bulk. The muscle is coming, the size is coming, the strength is coming, the power is coming. I am feeling good in the gym, feeling good out of the gym. Energy levels are high, absolutely everything. I am loving it so far. So what I wanted to quickly talk to you guys about was the plan for the next 22 weeks. That might seem like a long time, but it's only a few months, right? And for every single week, for the next 20, well the whole bulk will be the next 22, about 16 weeks left, but the whole bulk will be about 22 weeks. So around about six months, give or take. As you incredible mathematicians out there will be able to work out, 22 pounds at 0.5 pounds every single week will be 11 pounds gain. In a few months, I can expect that to be six or seven pounds of muscle and probably a few pounds of fat as well, which means I'll be able to come back bigger, stronger and leaner in the next bulk. So what I'm gonna do is bulk until the end of February and the beginning of March I, I haven't worked out it will be a, a rough day it's not gonna be an exact date when I start cutting but I don't want to be fat as fuck at body power and I am going to body power with my dad this year cannot wait we're hopefully going for three days well we are going for three days we've already booked the tickets but where we're gonna stay and all that kind of stuff is gonna be decided at a later point so when the first of March arrives that will make me around about 186 to 187 pounds give or take if everything stays on track and it will give me an extra 10 weeks before body power to cut down around about a pound a week to lose the weight and look good for body power. Perfect. I think it's good and I find it helpful if I can follow someone else's journey like in terms of bulking or cutting. So I showed you guys the whole summer shredding thing with the whole Christian Guzman competition. Now I'm going to show you the complete opposite guys. A slow, steady, nice, controlled, well thought out, structured and planned bulk. So with that said guys, I'm going to get on to the topic of today's video and that is Charlotte's present. Right guys, so let me tell you about the hardest and the biggest secret I have ever had to keep in my entire life. So, if you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you know that me and Charlotte are together. We've been together for a while now and we also live together here at university. So you can imagine the trouble when you have to hide gifts for Christmas, gifts for birthdays, Valentine's Day, all the events that everybody does, right? You can imagine the difficulty that you have to go through when trying to do those kinds of things. Now that is what led me to the idea for this gift, right? Long story short, we are going to Amsterdam. And I'm very, very excited about this because I'm gonna be able to make some sick ass content there for you guys. So many YouTubers that I watch, especially Student Aesthetics, lives in Amsterdam and has been to Amsterdam and do everything out there, everything that looks really fucking cool. And we cannot wait to go. But what I wanna to talk to you guys about is the difficulty I had to go through to book that gift. Me and Charlotte sleep in the same bed, we sleep in the same room, we share everything together, we are, we are barely apart for not a very long amount of time, right? So I have to wait every single night until she went to sleep to book the flights, to book the hotel, to find the information about it, absolutely everything. I'm pretty sure I booked it about three o'clock in the morning. So the things that you guys saw earlier on in the video are the trouble that I had to go to. First I decorated the flat for the night out. I came home, did my hello, full of balloons, everything like that. Poor old Izzy helped me out a little bit and couldn't even blow up her balloon. And then Charlotte came home and wasn't that surprised anyway because she saw the balloons before she walked in. But never mind, that wasn't the main gift. That was just a little extra thing that I thought I would do. So what I actually did for the gift altogether, I have a lot of questions, not necessarily from, from you guys, but from people who actually watch the video that are my friends and stuff that don't know what I did because I refused to tell them because it would ruin the big secret. What I did was, well, the things that you can do in Amsterdam with the Heineken experience, there's Anne Frank's diet, there's Anne Frank's house and everything like that. And so 
Two things that I decided to do were wrap up a Heineken bottle, one because that's kind of a little hint, and two I decided to do the diary because, but actually diaries were a little bit too expensive and so I just bought a little odd notebook, wrapped that up and put it in a box. I intended on doing a pasta parcel thing but the boxes didn't fit in inside each other and long story short that you, you that, that story would bore me, let alone you. So anyway, I wrapped up this bottle and I wrapped up the diary and wrote in the diary Amsterdam and the dates that we're going to. We are going early January, so New Year guys, you guys can expect some awesome content from Amsterdam. And the funniest part was, she didn't really understand it. She opened the Heineken bottle, I was like, she was like, is there an order to this? I had to open this one, this one, this one. She just opened it and was like, imagine this is the Heineken bottle. She just went, I, I, I don't get it. Then she opened the next present and opened the diary, had a skim through the diary and seen that we were going to Amsterdam. So, that is the gift guys and I tell you what, it was the most stressful thing, genuinely one of the most stressful things I've had to do in my entire life. And I know a lot of you at home are gonna go, oh poor old you, you're going to Amsterdam, how stressful. But tell, I tell you what, keeping the secret from the person that you love and the person that you live with, the person you share absolutely everything with, and the fact that you go out with them as well, like on nights out, if you're drunk and you blab a teeny tiny word to one person, that will spread to another person or to another person, and it was very, very stressful. But in the end, it worked out really good and we are both very excited to go. So that is gonna round off today's video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, then let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. We have just reached 600 subscribers, so thank you to the LSJ Army. This is just the beginning. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you made it this far, as always, remember, no regrets. I'll see you guys in the next video.